Uh, welcome to IT history park. This is just BK. Our uh, last session in the Python we have discussed. We have completed two classes. The the first one. In the last classes, we have done like session number two, we have done uh, Python features, what type of features we have. Uh, some more features is there, you can go and search in the Google, so you will get more clarity about these features. But uh, most of the features I have covered here, I have covered here, so you can get it and collect these features, so you will get clarity about this. Perfect. So now, now today's uh, discussion about uh, identifiers. Last class, last class I am starting. I was starting. I was starting identifiers. So identifiers is nothing but just a name to identify the any person. Suppose, uh, suppose in the example I am giving to how you identify, how you identify some other person by the name. By the name, suppose uh, you are identify my channel by using my, my channel name, so you can identify easily. So this is the meaning of identify the name of the Python program is called identifiers. Like variable, suppose you declared a equals to ten. So here we declared one a equals to yeah yeah a equals to ten. So A is the identifier here, name is the identifier, def v1, v1 is the function name, function name is the identifier. So rule of the defining identifier in the Python. We have some rules. So we follow these rules so we can de declare our identifiers. So A to Z and capital A to Z. If small A to Z and capital A to Z, we can use it and zero to nine digit we can use or underscore we can use. Other thing we can't use the only underscore we can use. So this is the last class example. Okay, these note I will share on my uh, Facebook group also. Don't worry. Give me some time. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the last case, last session, guys. This is our last session. This is our last session. So today's session is three. Uh, continuation, continuation of continuity of continuation of identifiers. Okay, great. Now here, identifier. identifiers yeah perfect uh, you change the name so uh, identifiers I entered something else so that way. Okay, identifier. Yeah, good. So I'm writing some theory. So for your clarity purpose. So by using, okay, we can use we can use alphabet alphabet symbol symbols both case either either upper case upper case or lower case So next is if 
if identifier if identifier if identifier is start with underscore underscore like this underscore underscore like this then it indicate indicate it is private it is private okay if identifier in the python it is a special identification is there if you start with any if you start any identifiers by using underscore so it will identify as a private so identifier should not start should not start with the digit not start with the digit so identifier should not start with digit identifier is identifier that is case sensitive sensitive okay we cannot and uh, and uh, we cannot we cannot use reserved keyword reserved keyword keyword as a identifier we cannot use a, in python 30 reserved keyword this there like def def is the reserved keyword and uh, some other keywords also there i will discuss in the next upcoming session don't worry and i will start reserved keyword then one by one i will discuss don't worry so next po point is in python in python there are there are there is no limit no length length no length limit no length limit for no for python there is no length limit for identifier identifier but but not recommended but not recommended not recommended to use too lengthy too lengthy identifier that is not recommended to use too much lengthy okay so now so this is the some point about related to python identifiers you should remember this point then you can declare or uh, initialize any variable class name of method name uh, it's called function name so you can easily what is that how we can use alphabet symbol either uppercase or lowercase in the last class i have discussed in the last class i have discussed with you okay and also giving the example in this session i am not giving example okay don't worry just leave it okay today i will also give you the id which i will id i am going to use oh you can use the pie charm is also good one but uh, i am using i think uh, i will use um, visual studio you can download from the internet it's free okay so now next uh, question is next topic is note some note point i am giving to you so here uh -huh. some practicals point i am giving okay related to uh, python which one is right which one is not right okay 
So now, yeah, uh, uh, Python, not Python, Python. Yeah, perfect. It will open. Increase the size property. Twenty four is good. Okay, enough. Okay, now it's good. I think it's visible. Otherwise, I can more, increase more size. Okay. Okay, so now uh, how many types we should uh, tell me, tell me. I'm first, I'm giving some example, then I will. Okay, so here, example, example, doing example, suppose here, case one. First case is, first case is now. Suppose zero one zero one zero one zero one press A A A. Second number is A A A zero one zero one and third number is third number is A B C two A B C. And fourth number is our ABC dollar, ABC dollar or D. Can you tell me which one is right or which one is wrong? Okay, just I'm giving. If you know the answer, please comment in the comment box. That's why I'm giving here. Okay, fifth point. I will show the practical also. Don't worry. Fifth point is not fifth. Not a six points. Fifth point is what the hell? Uh -huh. Okay, fifth point is underscore ABC. Okay, uh, ABC. Uh, six point is underscore ABC D DB E. Okay, and the seven point is underscore. Oh, sorry, underscore A B C underscore D E and underscore. Okay, eighth is eighth one is just write the number and comment in the comment box, which is correct. Okay, please. Pause the video. Pause the video. Don't uh, pause the video. Pause the video and comment in the comment box. Those are watching this video, please. This is the recommended. If you give the answer uh, out of 10, out of 10, out of 10, you give the answer of 8 correct. 8 answer, you, you are giving a correct answer. So you can understand easily identifiers. So nothing else in this topic. Okay. So now here, perfect. So now underscore underscore A B C. Two underscore is there. Nine. Nine number is deaf. And sixth number, ninth number is this, and tenth number is perfect. Tenth number is if. Now tell me. Now tell me, guys. Now tell me. Now tell me. Now tell me. So now, what is this? It's wrong or right? Wrong or correct tell me it's wrong or correct it's a totally what is that
राइट राइट रॉन्ग इन दिस केस आइडेंटिफायर सिंबल कैन आइदर अपर केस और लोअर केस इट्स गुड बट आइडेंटिफायर शुड नॉट स्टार्ट विद नॉट स्टार्ट विद नंबर तो दिस वन इज करेक्ट एंड ओके ग्रेट दिस वन ऑल्सो करेक्ट आफ्टर दैट आई विल क्रॉस चेक and dollar symbol is allowed or not allowed dollar symbol allowed or not allowed dollar symbol is not allowed so this is wrong one abc underscore is correct or wrong correct yeah you can use underscore or when you use underscore so it will treat it as a private private here you okay. that then it indicates is a private private okay here is also use it you can use this not a big deal here also you can use this not a big issue and here this is double underscore is the wrong or right wrong or right wrong or right guys perfect i will give a wait for this wait for this this is right we can declare double underscore also okay i will give some notes about it this is wrong why because this is the reserved keyword is there in the python this is also reserved keyword okay that's why so let's see one by one practical in the python so now here first we start 101 And A B C D equals to like ten. Perfect. Here we get the invalid error. Now I'm giving some screenshot also. Okay. Also first. And next is. Next one is first. You can use A B C D. A B C D, like one zero one zero equals to ten. That's perfectly great. If you want to print, then print A B C D, one zero one zero, and here you can get it. Insert. perfect case case number 3 what is the case number 3 is a b c d and two a b c d why use alpha wed inside the mid so we can use a b c d and a b c d equals to 30 20 and print perfect now 20 we get This is the third our third case. This is the our third case. Third case, guys. And now our fourth case is now our fourth case is use a dollar symbol. So use a dollar symbol. Use a dollar symbol. A B dollar C equals to twenty. So getting error. Why? Because invalid syntax error. So. this is fourth case and fifth case is underscore underscore is valid or not underscore abc equals to 30 and print underscore underscore abc no. yeah perfect is printing i'm giving a reference to you now this is our fifth case this is our fifth case guys 
now our six cases now our six, six cases underscore and underscore we use uh, underscore in the mid so a b c d underscore c print like print we use underscore c like this we get a 30 we get a 30 or not we get a 30 not a big deal this is our six case guys this is our six case okay now seven case is underscore and underscore 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 and underscore this is the different one underscore underscore is different there is 30 also there but here you can get 30 30 you will get No, perfect. Control C. Now here you can get. Okay. Now this one is right. We can get a value. We can declare by using double underscore. We can use in the identifier. Now, now, now we can use a double underscore. Double underscore. The beautiful things. So underscore underscore A B like d f d f equals to 100 like print underscore under sorry underscore underscore d f now this is i will give a note for this point okay so this is also valid point not invalid this is also our valid point guys this is our case number This is our case number. Sorry, control JTR. Okay, this is case number. Case number eight, nine, nine case number you can take. Suppose you def equals to 30. Now we get error. Def invalid syntax. Def is the invalid syntax. Now, tenth. If is also reserved keyword in the Python. Now, here you get it. So now this is about 10 cases are there 10 cases with the practicals practical proof are there okay so now every point is correct just okay okay if you have any doubt about how to install python all these things a lot of videos are there in a youtube go and watch it how to install python just search it on a google just do it okay well, because in my system already have python so not required to install just how to install Python, you can search on Google, so we'll get it. Okay, not a big deal, guys. Not a big deal. So up to this is good. Up to this is good. So now I'm giving a note, some point about this. Okay, so I am giving some notes. I am giving some notes. Okay, perfect. Notes. So note says if if identifier start with if identifier if identifier t start with underscore symbol then it then it indicate indicates that it is that is private perfect now if identifier identifiers start with double underscore symbol symbol then it then it indicates indicate that is 
that is that strongly that is strong strong private identifier perfect now third point about the identifiers you can note it if if the identifier if the identifier starts and ends with ends with two ends with two underscore 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 symbols then the identifier then the identifier identifier then the identifier then the identifier then the identifier is language language defined language defined special name which is also known as which is which is also also known as known as magic magic methods magic methods in the python some methods is there in the python example like underscore underscore add so when you declare like this so this you can call this is the magic identifiers okay so now this is the note point about the identifiers okay so now this is about today's hangama is completed about the identifiers if you still anyone having doubt about the identifiers and practicals so you can go through these notes and also watch this speed video and you can try this okay a small a small snippet i have done i will done by using uh, python cell okay when when i will start uh, like app development and like method development function development then i will use id okay perfect so now uh, identifier is completed in my point of view is enough for the identifier not a much not a much requirement is there for the identifiers perfect identifier is completed so now next topic is our what is that next topic is our keyword keywords reserved keyword what is that reserved reserved keyword it's in python python perfect okay now reserve keyword in python so i have already told you i have already told you uh, in the python only 30 reserve keyword is there okay 30 reserve 30 or 30 30 or 30 plus reserve keywords are there okay so now what is the reserve keyword what is the reserve keyword reserve keyword is nothing but provided by the python provided by the any languages as a predefined as a predefined so we can call this is the reserve keyword what is that this is the reserve keyword uh, in the c uh, in the uh, java programming language we have like 54 like 55 reserve keyword but in the python 30 33 something like is there okay so now one by one i will discuss each and every point about the reserve keyword this is the little bit lengthy topic okay maybe cover in the two sessions okay today or like next session oh slowly slowly we will learn slowly slowly we will learn don't worry my teaching like that okay only like that so now let's start reserve keyword so what is the reserve keyword about this wait 
something change a different color which color okay no this color i want okay perfect in any in any programming language programming language some some words keywords some keywords are reserved reserved to represent represent some meaning represent some meaning meaning or functionality 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 such okay such type of word such type of keyword keywords are called reserved keyword keyword reserved keyword perfect so now uh, got the my point got the, in any programming not a special for the python in any programming language some keywords are reserved okay to represent uh, some meaning or functionality suppose in that def in that def for the defining the method def is the reserved keyword in python so reserved keyword in the python so we can yeah so we can uh, using def using def keyword so define a uh, declare a function in a python and here are true false none and not is if elif else some more methods are there some more math sorry not the method some reserve keywords are there one by one i will take this okay good so every keyword have a different functionality not the same okay some like true false having true false functionality def to def using by def keyword using to declare a function and by using if else elif you can use you can use like declaring the uh, if else condition while try exception finally rise assert okay some there okay so now one by one i am giving it. so now first one first one is true first one is if now def i can use if and uh, def okay some true you can count you can count otherwise two like true with the keyword and third is false fourth if five elif six else seven none eight it is while looping seven four eight seven eight i'm going to wrong nine perfect nine ten ten is break eleven continue continue twelve and uh, twelve will is in thirteen yield fourteen in fourteen in is completed return return is a very good keyword okay
14 and 15. 15 is try 16 accept here is catch functionality is not there. 17 finally 18 rise 19 assert for the debugging purpose okay 20 import 21 21 as as 22 from 23 class is the keyword 24 24 def is completed already pass okay 25 global 26 26 is non local non local 27 lambda lambda number 29 like del for the delete del and 30 with okay and uh, perfect 31 31 is def and while break continues completed and and is also there and is not done okay 32 or is also there 33 last keyword in 33 not not perfect So I am dividing on them. Yeah, perfect. Okay, here take 16, great, 14, oh uh, no, 14, great, and uh, last one, perfect. Great. So now this is the reserve keyword. Okay, in Python. You can remember easily. Okay, perfect. So this is the 33 keywords are in the Python are reserved. So now here, here you can observe one thing. Here you can observe in one thing. What is the one thing? Is there in Python reserve keyword having only numeric keyword, numeric number having, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. Observe this. In reserve keyword in Python only having alpha numeric, alpha keyword. Okay. Alphabet symbols, not any numeric and not any numbers. Okay. 
here observe only two thing here you can observe here you can observe these things first note point note note here point is point is here point is what is the point all reserved reserved words reserved keywords keywords in python python contain only alpha alphabet symbols symbols now next point is next point is here you can observe observe uh -huh, okay i am observe yeah true and false these two these two and this one this one got it these three keyword having only capital letters okay having capital letters one symbol is the capital and all keywords contain small letters symbol okay so now i am giving example to you if you take like like you can take abc equals to true here you can get error okay here you will get error what is that error what is that error you can read you can read name true is not defined did you mean is true it is asking did you mean this true control c control v perfect now here paste it here now this is the second point so now here you can use instead of this true use this true now print abc equals to is true perfect now what is this meaning okay perfect so now this is about this is about reserve keywords in python in python in python how you can see uh, in python how you can no i am giving one example i am trying this it, it is possible import import keyword perfect keyword keyword dot keyword list long list here you can get here this is the good one this is the good one i am thinking it's working okay okay here you can see the keys and you will get this much of keys perfect now here you can write point is show how to show all keyword in python then by using by using using python programming perfect so now you can just import keyword 
import keyword and keyword dot keyword list. So we'll get all the keywords. How many keywords are there inside this? This is returning. Okay, guys. Okay. Next session, we will meet with the next topic. This is the keyword. This is the today is not. I am dis. I will not discuss the whole thing. What is that to? Uh, when our session is going good, going well, there I will in the next session, next next upcoming session, I will discuss this topic. And uh, tomorrow session is the very very important session. Please, if you watching the continuous link series, then you can get clarity. Please do the practicals, okay? Please do the practicals, okay? I'm sharing all these things not in my uh, Facebook group. Facebook group also is there in the video description. Link is there. You can go and join it. It's totally. And yeah, this is I will cover all the Python programming language. This is the language fundamental is going on. And tomorrow's topic is data types. Okay. How to declare data type and what is the data type in Python? All this point tomorrow I will discuss. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching me.